Hello, I'm David Levy here with Hot Pepper Theater. Today, I will be reviewing the Honeycomb Trilogy, which is three plays, Advanced Man, Blast Radius, and Sovereign, all by Mac Rogers. Uh, but first, I'm gonna eat this Scotch Bonnet Pepper paired with this Queen Majesty Scotch Bonnet and Ginger Hot Sauce. Now, what does it mean to put Scotch Bonnet Sauce on a Scotch Bonnet Pepper? Who the f*** knows? We're gonna find out. Doop. Bon appétit. Okay, so we're going to talk about these plays, uh, which are a, a science fiction trilogy, but also really a trilogy of family living room dramas, um, which is why it makes the perfect science fiction uh, stage drama. Um, it's sort of like if you can imagine August Osage County meets The Hunger Games meets Ender Eats Game. Um, in that, it's a story about this one family, the Cooks, who are um, whose father is a recently returned astronaut who was on a Mars mission. Um, and it turns out that he made secret plans with an alien race that he met on Mars, although they are not Martians, um, to help them come colonize the Earth. Um, and in the first play, uh, we get all their family dynamics as that kind of culminate in his two children, um, Abby, who is a boy, and Ronnie, who is a girl, that is very confusing, I think on purpose, um, who take different sides on whether or not they want their father to go through these plans. Um, the second play, Blast Radius, takes place 12 years later um, after, spoiler, uh, the invasion happens and um, uh, Abby has teamed up with the aliens and Ronnie is leading the resistance. And then the third play, Sovereign, takes place eight years after that, um, where I have to say this pepper, not really fucking hot. Like I feel it on my tongue, but like, that's it. So like. Sorry, guys. Um, but that's okay, because it's a great place. So we're going to talk a lot about it. Um, <laughs> so uh, Sovereign takes place after the Resistance has won, and Ronnie has become the governor of their settlement, and um, Abby resurfaces, and she has to decide how to um, try him for his war crimes. Um, the plays are much more complicated than that very simple uh, direction, uh, or synopsis makes it sound, because you get all of the, um, like family drama goodness, like, uh, with, you know, brothers and sisters and parents and children fighting and making you cry, but also, like, giant bug creatures taking over the earth. It's, guys, it is so cool, and it's done in marathon. You can see them on different nights, but really go on a Saturday or Sunday where they're doing them back-to-back. -back. Um, again, an hour break between each play, an hour and a half between the second and third, so there's time for a little more dinner. Um, the cast is 28 people, so I can't really talk about how amazing all of them are, but they are all really fucking amazing. Um, so, uh, my time is up, and I'm sorry that I didn't, like, scream and cry, because, like, the pepper is just, like, a little tingly on the tongue. Um, so, I'm not even gonna break for milk. I'm just gonna rate the fucking plays. Uh, I give these plays, all three of them, five out of five. Like, I loved this shit. This pepper, like, one. One pepper. Sorry, Scotch Bonnet. I, you are my bitch. So, now that we're done, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to Hot Pepper Theater. You can follow us on Twitter at ButtHurtReviews. Uh, you can follow me, David Levy, on Twitter at It's DeLevy. Um, and uh, let's go eat some peppers and see some theater.